Lieutenant General Bernard Cyril Freiburg was born on the 21st of March 1889 in London, England. At the age of two, he moved to Wellington, New Zealand with his family. He attended Wellington College and excelled at swimming, winning junior and senior titles. Bernard was also involved in school cadets. He aspired to be a doctor. In March of 1914, he travelled to San Francisco and possibly became involved in the civil war that was raging in Mexico. But when he heard of the Great War outbreak in Europe, Freiburg travelled to Europe and volunteered. Bernard Freiburg began World War I on the Belgian front with the Royal Naval Volunteer Reserve in their failed attempt to defend Antwerp. He then continued on to the Gallipoli Campaign with the Australian New Zealand Army Corps, also known as the Anzacs. At this campaign on the coast of Turkey, Freiburg was famous for his heroic actions and was awarded the Distinguished Service Order. Using his swimming skills, he swam two kilometres ashore at Bolaire and lit flares in order to divert the Turkish soldiers' attention while the Anzacs were landing on a nearby beach. After surviving the failed Gallipoli campaign, Freiburg went on to serve for the British Army on the Western Front of Northern France. He was very influential in the capture of Beaucourt village from the Germans in May 1916 and was awarded the Victoria Cross. Between the two wars, Freiburg continued his work in the armed forces in Britain. He was set to retire from the army in 1937 due to heart problems, however this did not happen with the outbreak of the Second World War in 1939. Upon his return to New Zealand to volunteer his services, Freiburg was appointed commander of the Second New Zealand Expeditionary Force and Division. When I believe we can speed the victory. If we can maintain pressure on the enemy and fight him whenever we can, and if you can get to us the material and the munitions, I believe this loan may well be the victory loan. Bernard Freiburg led New Zealand campaigns in North Africa, Greece and Italy. While being criticised for being largely involved in the 1941 fall of Crete, Freiburg was admired by the Allied forces for being a strong leader and always showing readiness to fight back at enemy lines. Because of this, he was promoted to the rank Lieutenant General and appointed Knight Commander to the most excellent order of the British Empire. After the war, Lieutenant General Bernard Freiburg was invited to be New Zealand's Governor General. A Governor General represents the King or Queen in a Commonwealth country. He began his term in May 1946, making him the first New Zealand Governor General of New Zealand upbringing. His term lasted until 1952. After his very eventful life, Lieutenant General Bernard Freiburg died on the 4th of July 1963. One of Freiburg's war wounds ruptured in Windsor Castle while he was working there as Deputy Constable. By being able to represent New Zealand both at home and abroad, Bernard Freiburg was a hero to the New Zealand citizens. He aided the success in many war campaigns that New Zealand divisions were involved in. He continuously showed courage and prowess through his war career and his wide range of awards can prove this. Bernard assisted in the compilation of New Zealand's official war history to show how New Zealand participation in both world wars has made a name for their country and shown the world what exactly they were capable of. His role as Governor General further emphasises the impact he had on New Zealanders during the 20th century. Nowadays, Freiburg has many monuments and awards named after him, as well as a high school. This shows how his actions still impact New Zealanders today and will for many years to come. <laughs>